Somaliland President Muse Behe is visiting the United States this week. He arrived at Washington's Dulles Airport on Sunday. There he was greeted by Hargeisa's Foreign Minister Issa Cade and the country's representative based in Washington, D.C., Bashir Good. Behe is scheduled to be in the U.S. for 10 days. He is expected to meet members of the American Legislature, the State Department, Defense Department, National Security Council, USAID, and business executives. The Somaliland leader will also meet emigrants from his territory residing in the U.S. The Wall Street Journal previously reported that Behe would offer Washington use of the Berbera seaport and a nearby airfield. There is some speculation that China could put pressure on Djibouti to not renew America's lease on military facilities there. Beijing also maintains a strong armed presence in Djibouti. American diplomats have shown some frustration with Somalia's political crisis amid delayed elections. I made it clear I was running for three reasons. But the administration of no President Joe Biden has shown no indications it would change its stand on Somaliland independence. No country has yet recognized Hargeisa's sovereignty. The Somaliland leader's visit to the U.S. has brought out some strong comments online. The Heritage Foundation is hosting an event featuring Behe on Monday. He will give a keynote address before a discussion hosted by Foundation President Kevin Roberts. The event will be made available virtually at 11 a.m. local time, 7 p.m. in Somalia. Last October, the organization published an open letter urging the U.S. government to re-examine its diplomatic position on Hargeisa. The U.S. should recognize Somaliland as an independent country. In practice, the territory is not now, nor is likely to be, a part of Somalia. Acknowledging that reality would allow Washington to create more effective policy in an important and contested region. ADN-TV will post updates on the Somaliland leader's visit to the U.S.